Hello everyone. Now we are going to be discussing an algorithm for insertion sort technique. What do you mean by insertion? What do you mean by sorting? Sorting is an operation which is going to be reorganizing the element of a given structure in particular order. Order is either ascending or descending. Now we are discussing insertion sort technique or insertion sort algorithm. What do you mean by insertion sort algorithm? Insertion sort algorithm in which we are going to be inserting an element into proper position. We are going to be reorganizing the elements of a given structure in particular order. That's why it is called as an insertion sort technique or insertion sort algorithm. So insertion sort is an efficient algorithm for sorting a small number of elements. It is similar to arranging the playing cards. So what will we do when we have a handful of playing cards? Before we start the game, we will sort all the cards so that we can make smart decisions. So let us assume the first card 40 is in the correct position. Now take the second card which is 10 and compare it with the previous card 40. And 10 is less than 40 so we have to rearrange the cards. Now the first two cards are sorted. Now take the third card which is 50 and compare it with the previous card which is 40. And 50 is greater than 40 so no need to move the cards and place it in its actual position. Now the first three cards are sorted. Now take the fourth card which is 30 and compare it with the previous card 50. And 30 is less than 50 so move the card 50 to fourth place. Again compare 30 with the current previous card which is 40 and 30 is lesser than 40 so move the card 40 to third position. Again compare 30 with the current previous card which is 10 and 30 is greater than 10 so no need to move the cards and place the card 30 in the second position. Now take the fifth card which is 20 and compare it with the previous card 50 and 20 is less than 50 so move the card 50 to fifth place. Again compare 20 with the current previous card which is 40 and 20 is lesser than 40 so bring 40 to 4th place. Again compare 20 with the current previous card which is 30. And 20 is lesser than 30 so bring 30 to 3rd place. Again compare 20 with the current previous card which is 10. And 20 is greater than 10 so no need to move the cards and place 20 at this position. And now see we got all the cards in the sorted order. In which we are having 3 different steps. Those are for i equal to 1 to n minus 1, step 2, j equal to i, while j is greater than or equal to 1, if a of j is less than a of j minus 1, temp equal to a of j, a of j equal to a of j minus 1, a of j minus 1 equal to temp, end of if j equal to j minus 1, end of while, end of for return. These are the three different steps in which by using these we are reorganizing the element of a given structure in particular order that is called as in sorting. Now we are going to be discussing this algorithm with help of solving this sort these array elements with help of this sorting algorithm. Now we are going to be reorganizing the element of this array with help of insertion sort algorithm. Right, now we are going to discuss step by step how we are sorting the elements of this array with help of insertion sort algorithm. First step, for i equal to 1 to n minus 1, where n minus 1 is the total number of, n is the total number of elements in an array, n minus 1 is the last index of this array. Total elements in this array is n equal to 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, means I need to be traversed from first index to last index of this array. You need to observe, in normally we are starting a for loop with for i equal to 0 to n minus 1. But in this scenario, we are starting from for i equal to 1 to n minus 1. Why we are starting i value from first index? Because now in this Algorithm, I am assuming that 
whatever the element which is located at the zero index is at proper position. Is at proper positions. I am considering the next element of that array and comparing with the zero index and I start inserting an element into proper position. In which I starting from an index one, I am discarding index zero element because I am assuming that whatever the element which is located at the zero index is at proper position. I am considering the next index element and I start comparing with the remaining elements of that array. See this one. Initially, for i equal to one to n minus one, what is i value? Now i value is one. J equal to i, i value is one. While j is greater than or equal to one, now one is greater than or equal to one. Yes, condition become true. Once this condition become true, it enter into a loop. A of j, a of j is Less than a of j minus one. If an element which is existing at higher index is lesser than an element which is existing at lower index, then we have to swap those two numbers. Then we have to swap those two numbers. See this one. The element existing at index one is having lesser value than the element which is existing at the index zero. If it, if this condition become true, then what we need to do is then we need to be exchange the elements of these two index values. That is going to be done with help of this loop. It is simply exchanging value of a two variable. This loop is which loop performing then interchanging the values of two variables. We already discussed then program on this in a first year. Which performs the content if we are going to be having two variables a and b, and I want to interchange the value of these two element, which is simply done with the help of an temporary variable and temporary variable. That is going to be done with the help of this loop. That is going to be interchanging. Once this condition become true, then we have to interchange the value of these two variables. Okay. Now we are going to be. Discuss sorting these array elements with help of this algorithm step by step. Step one for i equal to one to n minus one, where n minus one total four, where n equal to four total four elements are existing in this array. N minus one is now three. N minus one is four. N minus one equal to three. Means I need to start comparing from first index of an array, first index of an array to an third index of array, third index of an array. Right now I equal to one, one to n minus one. Now I value is one. Now I am assigning that I value to j. Now j equal to one, j equal to one. Why? J is greater than or equal to one. What is J value? J value is one. One is greater than or equal to one. Yes, condition become true. Once this condition become true, it enter into a loop, which is checking two numbers, which is checking two numbers. Now I started with the first index of an array that is element one. Now I am comparing that element one to its previous index value element that is two. I am comparing these two elements. The element which is existing at higher index is lesser than the element which is existing at lower index. Then I need to exchange those two values. We are going to see how we are going to be swapping these two numbers. If a of j j value is one is less than a of j minus one j is one one minus one is Zero a of zero in a of one I am having an element one is less than a of zero in a of zero I am having an element two one is less than two yes condition become true once this condition become true then I go for exchanging the or interchanging of these two numbers which are existing in index zero and index one that is we are achieving using Uh, and sequence of code which already
already we learned in the first PUC that is interchanging values of the two variables with help of temporary variable PCM and program in which we interchange the value of the two variables with help of a temporary variable. The same instructions are here with help of that we are interchanging the values of a indexes 0 and 1. Indexes 0 and 1. How? We are going to be saying. Now I am assigning for a variable temporary what I am assigning? I am assigning A of J. What is J value? J value is 1. In index 1 I store an element 1. Next A of J to A of J what I am assigning? I am assigning J minus 1. What is J value? J value is 1. 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. At A of 0 I store an element 2. I element stored an element 2. Next A of J minus 1. Now for A of J minus 1 index what I am assigning? Temporary. In temporary what I store? I store an element 1. Now A of J which means that A of J is nothing but A of 1. A of 1. Next A of J minus 1. J value is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. A of 0. For A of 1 index I need to store elements 2 and A of 1 index I need sorry. A of J minus 1 for that is A of 0 index now I need to store an element 1. Now at the 0 index I need to store element 1. At first index at correct I need to store an element 2. It is how we are interchanging the values of these two variables. Now I need to interchange these two values. Now in A of 0 I store 1. In A of 1 I store an element 2. I execute this step, end of it. Now I need to decrement the value of j. j equal to j minus 1. What is j value? j value is 1. 1 minus 1. Now j value become 0. Now j value become 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 1. 0 is greater than or equal to 1. Condition become false. 0 is less than 1. Which is not neither equal nor greater. This condition become false. Once this condition become false, it come out from the file loop. It come out from the file loop. We are still in for loop. We are still in for loop. Once we come out from the file loop, for loop is going to be incremented by 1. Initially, i value is 1. Now, i is incremented. Now, i become 2. i become 2. Now, j value become 2. j value become 2. Just i sorted the first two elements of an array. I need to sort remaining elements of that array. For that I increase the i value. Now i become 2. j equal to i. i value is 2. Next j. j value is 2. 2 is greater than 1. Yes. 2 is greater than 1. Condition become 2. Enter in your loop. Here a of j. a of j is a of j minus 1, j value is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. A of second index, in A of second index I am having an element 4, in A of first index I am having an element 2. 4 is less than 2, 4 is less than 2, condition become false. This condition become false because 4 is greater than 2. 4 is not less than 2. Once this condition becomes false, it comes out of the loop. Then, which is comparing element 2 and 4. Right? 4 is larger than 2, so then we don't need to exchange these two values. We don't need to exchange these two values. For that, condition becomes false, it comes out from the loop, which does not interchange any elements because this condition becomes false. Next, j value is going to be incremented, j equal to j minus 1. j is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. Now j value become 1, now j value become 1. Next, 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Yes, condition become true. Enter into loop. Again, what is j value? j 
J value is 1, 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. At the first index, we are having an element 2, element 2. In A of 0, we are having an element 0. 2 is less than, 2 is less than 0. Once again, this condition becomes false. It comes out from the loop. Again, J value is decremented. J becomes, now J value is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Once again, J value is 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 1. Condition becomes false. It comes out from the loop. Once it is come out from the loop, now it will be incrementing for loop. Now i value is 2, now i is incremented by 1, now i become 3, i become 3. Now I assign i value to a j, now j is also becoming 3, j is also becoming 3. Now what is j value? j value is 3, 3 is written or equal to 1, yes, condition become true. Enter into, other, enter into the loop that is what is j value j value is 3 a of 3 a of 3 a of j minus 1 j is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 now in a of third index i stored an element 3 in a of second index i stored an element 4 3 is less than 4 yes this condition become this condition become true. Once this condition become true, then I need to interchange these two values. Simply, what I need to perform, I need to follow them. I need to assign a of j. In a of j, I have an element three. Sorry, ten equal to a of j. In a of j, I store an element three. Three is nine to ten. A of j equal to a of j equal to Four a of j minus one equal to three. In a of j I store four. In a of j minus one I store an element three. Means which is interchanged these two values. These two values. It is come out once it is exchange those two values come out from the loop. J equal to j minus one. What is j value? Now j value is three. Three minus one is two. 3 minus 1 is 2. Why? It is going to be decrementing g value because I just compared, I interchange the value 3. If suppose 3 is uh, less than 1, means in this position, if we are having an element 0, then 0 must be inserted to the first index, 0th index of an array. For that, every time it is decrementing j value, now it is going to be comparing means the element which is existing at index 2 is compared with an element existing at index 1. Whether 3 is lesser than 2 then these two need to be interchanged. Once it is interchanged, after that we need to be compared with the first index of an array. For that we are having this J2. J2. It is now J value is 2. 2 is 2 is greater than 1, this condition becomes true, means a of 2, a of 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, in second index I am having an element 3, in first index I am having an element 2, 3 is less than 2, condition becomes false, then they no need to be interchanged. Again j value will be deprecated, now j is 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Now 1 is greater than or equal to 1, yes condition become true, enter into a loop, j is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, in a of the students I am having an element 2, in a of 0 I am having an element 1, 2 is less than 1, no, condition become false, it come out from the loop, again j is decremented, j equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 is greater than or equal to 1, condition become false, it totally come out from the loop, again power loop is going to be incremented, i become 3, 3 is, 3 is going to be incrementing, now this condition power loop become, power loop condition become false, because we are having only 4 elements, I compared all those elements, it is, once this condition become false, it come out from the loop, last is tough.
3 return. It is how we are going to be sorting and elements using insertion sort technique. Simple concept. I am comparing an element and I find out a particular place where I need to insert an element. In that question, it is going to be sorting array elements using insertion sort technique.